Hello there and welcome. My name is Michael Fudge and this is another SQL screencast. This screencast will cover the DML statements in SQL, the fearsome foursome, the insert statement for adding data, the update statement for manipulating data, the delete statement for removing data from the table, and the select statement for viewing the output of the table, the data in the table. First I'd like to talk about the insert statement. Um, continuing on with the products example that I did uh, in a previous screencast, I'd like to show you what I have here. I have a uh, series of insert statements that insert uh, various products. So here's an Office 07, there's the price, it's software, I'm inserting a laptop computer, there's the price, it's hardware, uh, etc. So I have a series of inserts here. Um, I could have just typed these in, but I thought I'd save you the pain of watching key all this in. If I hit execute, the query output will show you all the rows affected and notice how I don't see any data in any tables. If I, if I wanted to see data in the tables I have to use the select statement. So in this one window here I have all my inserts and I'm going to open up another window and in this window I'm going to type in select everything from products. and I'll execute that so that you can whoops there we go uh, I forgot to run the uh, insert statements and there you go you see the data in the tables so this, these are all the different products that I've added to the table um, I can use various clauses on the select statement to reorganize or filter the data. For example, if I want to sort it by product type, I can say order by um, product type and execute that. And so now the books are first, then the hardware, then the software. It's in alphabetical order. If I want to do it uh, Z to A, I can say order descending and that will sort them software, hardware, book. I can also filter them. So for example, maybe I want to um, order them by the product name, but say where the product type is uh, software. So that only shows me software products and then uh, sorts them by product name in descending order. It gives you a basic idea how select works. You can retrieve data uh, based on various criteria and then organize it um, with the order by clause. And you always have to have it in the right order. Select from where order by. So that's important. You can't put order by before where, for example. So let's suppose I wanted to delete some data out of here. To delete data, you use the delete statement. And if I just say delete from products, I didn't specify which product to delete. So when I execute this, it <clears throat> deletes all eight products. If I go back here and just do a select, you'll see that there's nothing left. I got rid of it all. Whoops. So that's why I have this other window where I can reinsert them. Ha ha ha. So if I go back here to delete, let's play around with delete. If I say delete from products, well first of all let's see what we got here. Oops. Okay, so let me add them back in. There's my products. So let's suppose I want to delete this product. I can say delete from products where product name is laptop computer. And when I execute that, it says one row affected, which means it just deleted that one row. And if I go back and show you the select, laptop computer is gone. I can also delete things based on a criteria or category. Like let's suppose I want to get rid of all the books. I could go back here and say delete from products where product category product category is book. Execute that. Oop. Product type, not product category, Mike. Product type is book. Three rows affected. And when I go back here, Look, look at the books. I execute. They're gone. Interestingly, if I run this again, I'm not going to get an error. 
what I'm going to get is just zero rows affected. There's nothing syntactically wrong with this at all. It's not like I misnamed a table or misnamed a column. All that happened is that there were no rows affected by that statement. There's, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Okay, so let me um, delete all the products out here. Let me add them back in. Let me make sure they're there. There's all my products again. And now this time I'm going to show you how the update statement works. So once again, if I said um, update products, set product name to Mike, it's going to set all the product names to Mike and it's going to violate a unique constraint in the process because you can't have the same name in there. Um, important to know when you use the update statement um, it affects all rows unless you specify which rows you want to change with the where clause. So another thing I can do is say update product set product uh, price to five dollars. I can execute that. I gotta learn my column names better. It's product cost. Product cost to five dollars. Execute that. Eight rows affected. If I go back and take a look at my select statement, you'll see that all the products now have five dollars. Whoops, it wasn't what I wanted to do. Um, delete from products. Let me take that and let me add that on top of my inserts so that I can, this will in effect wipe my table out and put it back the way it was. So delete everything, re-add it. Um, that should make it a little easier. Should make it a little easier to work this stuff out. So if I go back, rerun my select, here we go again. So all my products are back in there. The prices are accurate. So let's suppose you wanted to uh, discount all of your products by 10%. Um, this is where the update statement comes in handy. You could say something like update products, set the product cost equal to 90% um, times the current product cost. That would, in effect, reduce the product cost by 10%. So um, let's give it a shot. Eight rows affected. And this is my old list. Take a look at that. It's 400 bucks. Now it's 359, 10% off. Okay. So that's kind of how you use the update statement. Um, again, remember, it updates a set of data. So if you wanted to change the name of one product, like for example, if this laptop computer, maybe it's a Dell laptop computer, I want to change the name of that. Um, I have to specify that individual product. Set product name equals Dell laptop computer where product ID, I'll use the primary key this time, 45. 45. One row affected. Check out this laptop computer. I re-query the select statement and now it says Dell laptop computer. Okay. So uh, one more thing I wanted to show you about the select statement is um, you can specify the individual individual columns that you want to display here. So we, we've looked at insert, we've looked at delete, we looked at update. Let's take a little closer look at what you can do with select. I can say select um, product name, product cost and that will just show me those two columns. Okay. Now let's suppose I wanted to see what um, what a 50% discount would look like on product cost, but I don't want to manipulate that. I can add this um, as a calculated column. So I can say um, product name, product cost, uh, 0.5 times product cost as discount. What that does is it adds another column. Remember, this is not in the table. This is actually a calculated column. Um, and then I give it a name so that uh, it looks nice and neat in the output. Uh, that's kind of a cool thing that you can do um, with the select statement is you can add additional columns that aren't really in the table, but they're derived from the table. Um, 
Well, that's it for now. Um, this concludes our screencast on the Fearsome Foursome, the Insert, Update, Delete, and Select statement. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again soon.